it's not just socializing we're doing from a distance these days. Military and commercial drones have revolutionized how we see and navigate our planet. In the next decade, sea vessels without crews could do the same for the worldwide shipping industry, potentially making it safer, cheaper and greener. Redmond Shannon visited one UK manufacturer on the cutting edge of sailor-free marine technology. The USV Max Lemur is back on dry land. During a recent three-week mission surveying the Atlantic seabed, the uncrewed surface vessel pushed new boundaries of maritime technology, all controlled from this room back at base in the east of England. Over the course of the 22 days, we managed to survey over a thousand square kilometers. The intention of the, of the project itself was to go out and prove how this vessel will handle in true ocean conditions uh, for longer periods of time. So we we're off there for 22 days. The mission was actually a plan B. Plan A was to attempt a historic unmanned transatlantic voyage from Nova Scotia to England until COVID-19 made the logistics impossible. The USV Max Lima will fit in a, a single 40-foot container. That single 40-foot container can be shipped anywhere around the world for, for tens of thousands versus a mobilization which can go up to a million just to mobilize a vessel. The production and operating costs are also a fraction of conventional surveying vessels. Uncrewed ships are about more than just economics and efficiencies. The technology could have an impact on the carbon footprint of the wider shipping industry. Right now, the industry has a similar sized emissions impact to aviation. As this technology develops, freighters won't need bulky accommodation, potentially making them smaller and lighter. On top of that, we start to have crew. When you're operating in the Gulf of Mexico and you've got crew from all around the world, you need to fly them out there. And each of those flights has its own carbon footprint. Surveying company Fugro has just ordered two vessels to deploy its underwater vehicles for oil and gas pipeline inspections. At the moment, there's no, no regulation in place for, uh, for uncrewed operations. The company is working with authorities to set out new rules to govern the future of unmanned sea travel. What we are facing now actually is, is this, this transformation supported by all the, all the technologies that we have at hand at a super high speed. It's really, it's, it's big fun to work on this and to, to, to work on this, uh, on this change. But it's, uh, it's massive, it's, it's massive. Meanwhile, another project named the Mayflower aims to use artificial intelligence systems for an uncrewed transatlantic crossing next year. Redmond Shannon, Global News, Talsbury, England. No suitcase, no passport, no problem for passengers on board a Qantas Airlines flight to nowhere. <laughs> 150 people boarded a plane in Sydney only to return a few hours later. Qantas sold a sightseeing tour over Australia's landmarks to help boost the ailing airline. Each seat was snapped up in about 10 minutes with a first class ticket costing nearly $4,000. Critics say the flight isn't worth the environmental cost.